you are listening this dictation at onlineperari.in. U.S. President Barack Obama says the United States will not be intimidated by ISIS militants and vowed that justice will be served. He made the remarks in the Estonian capital Tallinn yesterday. Referring to the beheading of the second American journalist Stephen Sotloff by the group, Obama told reporters that the U.S. government has confirmed the killing of Sotloff. He called it a horrific act of violence. He said Americans are repulsed by their barbarism and stressed that the country's reach is long in chasing killers. Whatever these murders think they will achieve by killing innocent Americans like Stephen, they fail because like people around the world, Americans are repulsed by their barbarism. We will not be intimidated. Their horrific acts only unite us as a country and deepen our resolve to take the fight against these terrorists and those who make the mistake of harming Americans will learn that we will not forget and that our reach is long and that justice will be served. A two-day summit of NATO heads of state gets underway in Wales, United Kingdom today. Our correspondent reports that the summit assumes significance in the wake of the situation in Afghanistan, Ukraine and instability in Syria and Iraq. September marks the centenary of the outbreak of the fighting in the First World War which devastated a generation. The signs are no different across the globe this time from Afghanistan to Ukraine, the Sahel region and the North Africa to Syria, Iraq and Lebanon. Afghanistan is a major concern where NATO combat mission ends this year. Russia-Ukraine standoff refuses to die down. Boko Haram in Nigeria, Shabab militants in Somalia, strife in Mali showcase simmering tensions across the region. However, the radical Islamist extremism led by Islamic State militants in West Asia has set the alarm bells ringing. NATO leaders are expected to set up a global coalition to take on the challenge of Islamist extremists in the region beyond aid and support operations.